my name is Michelle Ferris and I'm a psychotherapist in San Jose, California. And I want to talk to you today about what to do if a family member is addicted. So the first thing is I want you to look at all the time and energy and money you've spent trying to get them help and ask yourself, has it worked? Are they in treatment? Are they any better? Because if they're not, the first step for you would be to stop. Uh, stop trying to get them help because really what they need is to hit bottom. And I know that's hard to hear, but you know, the addict or alcoholic really needs to experience the consequences of their own addiction first. And a lot of times if you've already tried getting a therapist for them, trying to get them into treatment and it hasn't worked, then part of what you need to do is start preserving your own resources emotionally and get the focus off of them and onto yourself. Um, this is what's called detachment. It's, you know, you're still in relationship with them, you still want to love them and appreciate who they are in your life, but you may be at this point wanting to not participate in the disease and not participate when they're drunk or high because it really doesn't serve a purpose anymore at this point and you can't control it anyway. So that's really the first step I would say is to take the focus off of them and what they're doing as crazy as it is and to redirect that focus to you and your family. Start taking care of yourself again because a lot of families end up neglecting their own health, neglecting their hobbies and their emotions because they're so overwhelmed with the addiction. That's step one. Step two is start to practice detachment and detachment is you are going to be able to let go of what they're doing. As painful as it is to watch, you now recognize that their behavior is really based on the disease right now and you can't change it anyway. So all you can do is be light and polite, take care of yourself, still to have a relationship with them if that's what you choose, that's totally okay. But really it's about not interfering with the disease when you know you're powerless over it anyway. So that's my tip. I hope it helps. Thanks so much.